Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, and thank you for clicking on the video. Today, we're going over the new weapon, the Grimoire. Um, I remember when they first revealed this, I saw someone type uh, combat reading in the Twitch chat. I thought that was really funny. And that's basically what this thing is. You're, you're pulling spells out of this book and throwing it at the enemy. Um, the spells are basically all the words from uh, the lich hunts and things like that, so... If you're kind of uh, weary to creepy sounding words uh, in a creepy sounding way, then maybe you don't want to hear this weapon, but uh, I think it's pretty cool. It's even got an alt fire that looks like this. Kind of reminds me of that you know what boondocks moment. So let's talk about the weapon. Now the weapon actually comes with innate electricity. Kind of rough if you're familiar with building uh, the Fulman, then you know that innate electricity really hurts you if you're trying to go with viral. There's no other status effect associated with this weapon. So keep that in mind. However, I did actually just go with a corrosive build. So we've got heat and corrosive, which enables me to use Cascadia Flare. Uh, we're getting extra status from Galvanized Shot. Now I am kind of curious, I'm not sure. Uh, it does have a radial attack, but it's not like an AoE weapon, so I'm not exactly sure if Galvanized Direct Damage portion is working or not. It looks like it is, um, so I'm going to say it is. But we've got Prime Heated Charged as well, because we want the heat to scale as high as possible, because the Corrosive is just so high at 110, so the more heat... Uh, scaling we have the easier it'll be to build Cascadia flare We've got lethal torrent this weapon has unlimited ammo So as much fire rate as possible is really nice. I do have creeping bullseye in uh, if you were to use the normal pistol gambit It's not that much of a difference. I just don't like uh, having an odd number there, so I went with uh, What's it called creeping bullseye? and so we're at a nice even 60 percent and honestly the lack of fire rate isn't very noticeable because again we have lethal torrent in so in this first clip i'm just using the weapon itself no added statuses no viral no no priming no nothing just the weapon itself building up cascadia flare you'll see that it's not that impressive it really really needs the help from viral to kind of give it a big bump in damage even the alt fire is kind of lacking in, in the damage department. So take a look at this. Now in this clip, I have my Panzer Volpa Phyla. It's gonna prime those enemies with a couple stacks of viral. And yeah, you could probably put viral on this weapon and you might be okay, but then you're not using Cascadia Flare. And Cascadia Flare is just easy, free damage. I really think that uh, Heat Corrosive is the way to go and just get viral from a companion or something like that. It's so simple and you'll see just how much better the weapon looks. When you're actually priming them with viral uh, it's actually quite decent when uh, you run it this way you'll notice too that for every basic attack that you throw out the enemy you have a gauge below your ads marker um, that bar is going to let you know when you can actually use the alt fire which you just saw um, the alt fire doesn't seem to have a whole lot of innate crit and it doesn't seem like it's scaling off mods so i don't know if that's a bug or if that's intentional but i don't really think the alt fire is that great uh, it's actually quite bad, in my opinion. It's very slow, it doesn't crit a whole lot, and then it only goes like a couple feet and then fizzles away. Kind of lame. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I don't think this weapon is really meant for Steel Path. I think this is just a neat little... Um, weapon to give new players kind of excite them to be like whoa I can throw spells from a book 
um, because DE just recently kind of changed the way new players can kind of get into Warframe. They can skip some of the quests. Some people have varying opinions on that. I really don't give a crap. So uh, they can make new players do whatever the hell they want. Doesn't affect me whatsoever. So um, should you get this weapon? Uh, yeah, it's mastery. Should you use this weapon? Not really. I don't think it's that great. Um, it has a hard time killing things uh, without a whole lot of setup, like viral from another source, and you got to use Cascadia Flare, and even with that, it's just not that impressive. So it's very cool to look at. It's an interesting uh, change to add a new weapon archetype. I think that's cool. I just hope that, um, you know, maybe the next one is a little stronger. So. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.